Okay. You're going to have to pay attention to my legs. You guys want to get up? You can. Smash me head and arm. We're in a bad spot here. I'm going to teach you how to rescue yourself, okay? So a lot of people make a mistake here. Let's just show this pass first, the no hands pass. A lot of people stay here head to head or his head even shorter than mine. This gets very hard for him to advance his knee and he doesn't have any pressure. Even if he drives with the shoulder, he doesn't have an immense amount of pressure. Kelly takes his head and he touches it eight to 10 inches and that, oh, no, I'm to just go, oh shit, I just wanna open my hip arm. You know what I mean? So you really need to learn to frame your arms straight and put your head above people's heads. It's amazing how I watch people sit here and they just struggle head to head. You guys see what I'm talking about, about head to head, mm -hmm. right? But when he starts to advance his head way up there, it starts to change. Look at my overhook, my overhook sucks, right? My chin's getting turned, my hips are opening, right? I don't want that. I want him here. You can't see it, but I'm physically pushing him with my bicep. It looks like I'm static, but Kelly will tell you that I'm pushing him yeah. down that way. Like I have a force doing that. You can overhook, which is great. We're gonna end up doing that. But uh, connect your hands again. I just, over the years, I haven't felt like now is the time. I felt like I'll do that in a second, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I wanna push him away. I wanna push him away with my bicep and I'm gonna push away with my hand like this. I want you to ensure that you do not do it with your thumb. If you push with your thumb and he twists his hip or he flattens his hip, he'll pop my thumb, it'll freaking hurt, right? So like, I wanna be like this. As a matter of fact, he'll pop your wrist too. So don't like stick your wrist in there in a compromised position. Stick as if I was pushing his hip only with my forearm pointing straight at you. You know, so I'm like this. You see what I mean? The other option that you can do is you can go palm up at his knee. This is very odd for him. Can you try and get your foot on my hip, try and pass now, try and advance? See, he feels stuck down there, right? I can do this, but if Kelly were real tall and I were short, Kelly's knees can stay up on my shoulder. Right? His knee will stay real far up on a guy. It'd be kind of hard. So sometimes little guys like this one too. You know what I mean? All right, so with, even without the leg here, we'll talk about that in a minute. I just wanna talk about what I'm gonna do with this leg. I need to get a butterfly hook, okay? So in a perfect world, I hip out, everything's beautiful, I turn it on my butterfly hook. Like, whoa, whoa, right? But if he's like, trying to drive your knee to mount, yeah, so if he's constantly doing that type of movement, go back, if he's doing that type of movement, I have to stop his knee from advancing into the mount or side control, right? So I'm gonna stop it by stomping on it. This is why this move is called the stomp. I can stomp on it with both legs. I guess I'm on with one and the other, but eventually I gotta get my butterfly hook, right? So one stomps on his leg so that he cannot advance and it holds his leg in position, I can get here. So I can stay holding on to this hook, I can be in half guard, but eventually I'm gonna have to commit and completely let go of half guard or stomping on him. Whether I'm gonna sweep or I'm gonna sit up, okay? The other thing I want you to notice is this. Back, hips back down, there you go. So like, I turn my hips out and I were to try and get this hook like this. You notice I turn up, watch, boom, and I'm turning facing up. Kelly feels like I'll knock you out of balance, right? So this femurs up and pinched with my thigh. I'm pinching his thigh so I'm not wide. You wanna step over, Kelly? You know what I mean? Something like you feel loose, right? Yeah. So like make sure that you're thigh pinching. Like I'm literally, what is that? Diane Summers or something? Who's got yeah, the thigh yeah. master? Thank yeah. you, right? I'm getting old. memory. So um, great. She was so hot. Anyways, no, <laughs> Kelly, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I'm here, right? And what I wanna do though is master getting that here if he's resisting. I can't just in a perfect world do this. So I'm gonna have to go from here to stomping his leg, right? You can also pull, pull it out a little bit so it's in a funky angle. Now I can stretch it out down there. Now he notices, what is that, your right leg? He's probably elongated. Makes it easy for me to get my long old hook in here now. For you short guys, you're not gonna have a problem doing this. Daddy long leg dudes like me, we're gonna have a problem. Okay, so he's got his butterfly hook. I'm gonna push him with this, and I'm gonna push him with my right hand or my left, but I'm gonna eventually sit up into a butterfly guard position, retracting this right leg eventually, right? So I will sit up, and as I do that, this will turn into an overhook. Make sense? So I took this clinch right now. There's two things that are gonna happen when, the, when I make that movement. Kelly's either gonna stay with that head and arm gable grip, gable grip, but just like you were in half. He's either gonna stay here and I try and sweep him, or he's gonna let go like he did and I've gotta master that clinch or the wrist. And then I'm sweeping. I know which way I'm going already. Okay, so we gotta first learn how to get there and then get to the sweep. If you try to attempt to sweep like this all the time by yourself, you'll get outstepped and they'll pass your guard. There are some tricky fancy ways to do that, but that's not what we're trying to do right now. Whenever we get to these positions, guys, whether we're rescuing from side control, doing the elbow push escape, 
whether we're doing these types of positions, it's always gonna be better to sit back up into the butterfly guard position and then start to sweep. Don't try to sweep when you're caught up half-ass like this. And you're like, eh. make sure you get back up into that position and then you try to sweep. It's, I can't stress that enough. If you try and have a half of a butterfly guard, you're gonna have half of a sweep. If you can get back to full butterfly guard, and like I say a lot, I wanna be the sphere inside of the sphere. I wanna be the peanut inside the peanut M&M. &M. Okay? So like, I wanna get as a ball inside there. Again, this is called the stomp, okay? Say stomp. stomp. Okay, so I don't care how you start it. I don't care if you hook his legs. See how I hooked it? And I kind of tweaked it. You can do that and stomp on it with the other one. Right? I can finagle it to whichever how I feel comfortable. I usually take my right foot. I end up sliding into his Achilles right there and his heel and his ankle. I feel that strong. I can elongate his leg. My butterfly hook comes in. All right? I'm going to push with this guy. I'm going to push with this guy. And then eventually this will turn into an overhook. I'm either going to cut that and sweep him or I'm going to grab his wrist. Those are the only two things that are going to happen with his arm. He holds on or let's go. It's one or the other, right? Let's say you, let, you hold on this time, okay? I'm just going to cut it. Watch. So I'm here. I'm trying to sit back up and I'm here. He's just holding on fine. Just don't let him put his arm back out. You guys see how I just cupped his arm and went? Fine. You'll get that. You'll get it not just from amateur grapplers. You'll get it from upper belts going, oh shit, he's getting away. And then he's going to try and clinch onto you, you know? And then you get some dudes who break their guard open or their arms open. Number two, his arms open up, right? Here, get my stomp, get my movement, push them, get my wizard, his arm open, wrist control. I'm already passing into that mount position we warmed up with, squeezing. FYI, for you guys that like to compete, you do not get mount points with your knee past his shoulder in jiu-jitsu. You only get it at his knee or below with his arm trapped. So yes, if you swept someone in the guard with a triangle, I would not get mount points because my knee is past his shoulder. All right, last time. Uh, we'll do two in a row, actually. We'll do two, okay? So I'm here, I push. He keeps his arm closed. I just fight, clinch, don't let him put his arm. Can you put your arm on the mat now? No. You know, even if you let go, you're not gonna be able to really, especially in a moment, right? Last one, his arms come open. I can't get in, get tighter with that. Right, I can't get in. It's not working. Right, I start switching this guy out. Hook, control it, foot gets wiggled in. Pushing. Yeah, there's all this stuff. Yeah, there's all that, but I'm not really worried about that right now. So, one time where they stay clinched, one time where they let go. You're gonna cut, or you're gonna take the wrist and shove it inside. Both of you will have an overhook. All that footwork makes sense to you? Two and switch, ready, set.